That's exactly why I wanted to do a guide like this. I think it's really important to show you exactly what you might expect in an app like Procreate, just how simple it can be and just how much fun it is as well. All right, let's jump straight into it. Let's not waste any time. I'm gonna be flicking between the overhead view as well as some internal recordings from the iPad, just to be able to give you a bit more insight into what to expect when it comes to an app like Procreate. All right, the first thing we're gonna do when we jump into the overhead view is we're gonna be faced with the landing page for Procreate. This is gonna be where all our artwork is. You're probably gonna see some demo artwork as well. Here we're gonna see all the artwork that I've created and we're gonna see a few really key areas. So each of these are a piece of art themselves. This is the sketch I was doing recently, uh, just a bit of a skull anatomy. Uh, in the top right hand corner as well, we're gonna have what's new. This is gonna give you a bit of a guide if you do wanna go a little bit further with Procreate and you are very new to it. We're gonna have select, that's gonna allow us to select different canvases on this page here, maybe group them like you can see down in this one here. It contains two different pieces of art. Uh, we're gonna have import. We're gonna be able to import something directly into Procreate and work on it or we can go straight from a photo. We'll be able to import a photo or take a photo and work off that as well. And the plus button here, let's go ahead and tap that one. We're gonna be able to create a new canvas. This is gonna be super important uh, depending on what type of artwork you wanna create, what dimensions you wanna use, uh, and whatever dimensions you are gonna use, you're gonna be constrained with how many layers you can use as well. I have another video that goes into this in a little bit more depth. You'll see the card appear at the top of the screen. So if you wanna see that one, head over and give that one a watch. We're gonna be faced with a lot of our pre-made canvases we've used in the past. You're also gonna see a section here which has some pre-made or predetermined canvas sizes, uh, A4, 4K, square, all really useful. And there's a little plus button here. If we go ahead and hit that little folder with the plus icon, I should say, we're gonna get a few options to create a canvas. We're gonna cancel that one. And just for the moment, we're gonna create an A4 canvas. Tap on that one and we're straight into the fun stuff. This is where we wanna be. We've come to Procreate because we wanna sketch, we wanna draw. It really just depends on what you wanna use Procreate for. There's no right or wrong answers, but this is where we wanna be. And when we're in Procreate itself, there's a few key things we wanna look at. Uh, on the top right-hand side of the screen here, this is gonna be our main controls, particularly these three right here. The brush tool, the smudge tool, and the eraser tool. These are very, very important. They're all gonna run off the same brush library. When we tap on them, we're gonna see that brush library appear. And that brush library is broken up into different categories of brushes. This is fantastic. And you will see on my one here, I've gone ahead and imported different brush libraries from throughout the internet. But for now, it's good to note that we have these three main areas on the top right-hand side of the screen. And the next one we wanna have a look at right next to that one is the layers section. Tap on that and we're gonna see our layers appear at the moment. It's a fresh new artwork. There is no layers or there have been no layers created here. We can simply go ahead, tap on the plus, we're gonna create new layers and we can work on different layers if we wanna do that. Super easy, super fun. Anyone who has done anything with graphic design or particularly Photoshop in the past, will be very used to layers. So this is gonna be super easy to utilize, but it is also really easy to utilize for anyone who is using Procreate. Next up, we have the ability to turn on and off these layers, which is fantastic. We can go ahead and draw something, go back into the layers and we can turn that on and off, which is great. Let's delete that one. And then next to the checkbox, we have a tiny little N. This little N is gonna give us options for that layer to turn on things like filters. If we wanna lighten, darken, do color burns, essentially just some filters for that layer. Uh, I don't really use them myself that much, but it is definitely something you can explore if you do want to. And next to it is arguably one of the absolute most important parts about Procreate, and that is the color wheel or the color selection area. This one here, when we expand it, is super, super simple. Across the bottom here, we do have five different sections, disc, classic, harmony, value, and palettes. I'm not gonna break them down individually too much today. Uh, just know that these are very, very in-depth and they allow you to create different palettes, uh, use things like color harmony, which is super nice as well. And there will be a future video coming on this, so stay tuned to the channel. And uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe down the button and ring the bell for any future videos that do come out, because I do talk a lot about Procreate and you might just want to tune in because I am going to cover a lot of the things I've touched on here today in the future. At the moment, we're going to stick with classic, and this is going to allow us to select a color 
And we can also choose from a few preset colors down below. I'm gonna go with a bit of an orange at the moment, a bit of a nice color. We're gonna tap back on the orange dot at the top. That's now the color we've selected. It's gonna disappear and we're faced with our canvas again. Let's go ahead and choose a brush. Let's go something like a sketching brush, maybe a 6B pencil, one of my absolute favorites. If we tap into that brush any further, it's gonna give us options to edit that brush. Things like pressure sensitivity, you can go really, really in depth with these. I'm not gonna explore them too much today. Again, possibly a future video on that coming up soon. For now, let's just hit done and let's tap on the brush icon. That's gonna allow it to disappear again or minimize itself. And the other bits I really wanna to touch on in this video today is this little sidebar right here. As you can see, I can pull it out and move it up and down, which is really, really useful depending on how you draw, uh, which hand you draw with. Uh, on the top is gonna to be our brush size. That's gonna be super handy uh, depending on how fine a detail we need in our artwork or what type of brush we're using. And then below it, we're gonna have our transparency. So uh, how much of each stroke do you want coming through at any one time? Uh, again, really super useful if you're gonna do anything like shading and you are using maybe a spray paint brush, you wanna build that up over time, not just come in with the full 100% opacity. And below it, we have our undo and redo buttons. Uh, this is super simple as well. We can go ahead and draw something. Uh, we can use the undo button here, which is fantastic. Redo as well or we can use finger gestures in Procreate. So we can use two fingers to undo, three fingers to redo. We can also pinch to zoom in, pinch to zoom out. Uh, if we are zoomed in, we can quick pinch and it'll take us back to our original canvas size. So gestures are very, very useful within Procreate. That is, again, another whole video by itself, but just so you know, they are super useful. And the last thing I wanna cover in this video today is the very top left-hand side of the screen. You can see the word gallery there. This is gonna take us back to our gallery. Great, good to know. Navigation, super important. But then there are four buttons across the top there as well. If we start with the little wrench icon, actions, this is gonna give us a whole different menu drop-down where we can make all sorts of adjustments. We can insert a file, add text, we can uh, crop and resize, uh, we can turn on the reference companion, uh, shout out to a video I did recently on the reference companion, which was a part of a quick tip video I did. There's a card at the top of the screen right now. Hit that one if you want a few quick tips on uh, going a little bit further with Procreate. We can go to the share button. This is gonna allow us to share our artwork when we're finished with it. Really important thing to note here, Procreate is an absolutely fantastic app for many reasons, but one of my favorite things is if I tap on share an image and I tap on Procreate, it's gonna save it as a Procreate file and anyone I send that to that has Procreate, they can open that in Procreate and have all my structure there in terms of layers and they're not gonna lose anything. It's not it's not gonna come in as just a JPEG file and they're gonna have to start from scratch again. They're gonna have everything there that I was working on. So I use that one quite a bit uh, with a friend of mine, uh, Benjamin Croft. Uh, check out his link at the bottom of the screen. He's a fantastic graphic artist, graphic illustrator, uh, ex-tattooer like myself and we always send artwork to each other when we're working in Procreate and it's nice to be able to jump back in where the other person just left off. So that is really important to note. If we continue along the top video, this is gonna give us a time-lapse replay. So everything that's done within Procreate is automatically recorded in terms of brush strokes. So if I hit time-lapse replay, I haven't done much. I've only done a couple of strokes, but it's gonna show me that replay of, of everything I've done. This is super useful particularly if you've done a really long design, you've spent 15, 20 hours on a piece of art. I know it sounds like a long time, but believe me, uh, it's pretty normal when you really start getting into the nuances of Procreate and how much it has to offer. And you can play that back and export that as well. So if you head to any of my social media channels, you see them at the bottom of the screen right now, you'll be able to see a lot of the time lapses I post of the artwork that I create. That is where I do all that through actions, video and time lapse replay. Very, very cool. Preferences as well. It's gonna allow us to make a whole bunch of adjustments uh, like gesture controls, like I mentioned before, uh, two finger tap, three finger tap. There's so many more we can go into. And you can also get a bit of help as well. This is a really great thing that Procreate do. They make it very easy to go further with their app. So I encourage you, if you are starting out and you want a few more tips, don't be afraid to hit that help button. 
So if we move along right next to actions at the top is a little wand and that's our adjustments menu. We're going to be able to do things in here like gradient maps, color balance, perspective blurs. We can glitch effect. Uh, we can also adjust the hue, saturation and brightness, which is very, very useful. I highly suggest you jump in here and have a look at this section. It's going to allow you to make a few adjustments to your artwork, sometimes some really big ones as well, and really give you a few different options when it comes to maybe the final design or adjustments within each layer. So that's the adjustment menu. Next to that, we have our selection menu, and this is gonna give us a section at the bottom of the screen here, a little toolbar is gonna to appear, and that's gonna be how we're gonna select things. So uh, at the moment, it's on freehand. I can go ahead and I can draw a selection around my line there. That's gonna allow me to uh, essentially edit that part of the artwork solely by itself. I can also move that around. So if I was to hit the little pointer icon at the top there, I can then move this line work around and do as I want. I can resize it, anything like that. And I've got a few controls on this uh, bottom menu here to adjust that as well. Super important to keep in mind, this is why you maybe want to create a lot of layers within Procreate. Maybe you want to have a sketch layer, an outline layer, a separate layer for your colors. That way you can go back into each layer and you can use things like the selection tool and make really fine adjustments. If you do everything on the one layer, you do lose a little bit of ability to do that uh, down the road within your artwork. And that's a really general layout of Procreate. It is super simple. The user interface is fantastic. Don't be afraid of this app. It really is so simple to use, but you can also go so far with it. It's for beginners all the way through to advanced designers, drawers, note takers, architects, whatever you are, Procreate can do it. It's fantastic. I highly suggest jumping in, giving it a go. Also, don't be afraid to check out a few of my other videos. You're gonna see them on the screen here. I cover a lot to do with Procreate and they might just help you go further with this app. And at the end of the day, if we're out there creating and having fun, that's the main thing.